everyone. So, plan for today, well, this morning, is to go out and chuck out some of my uh, new lobster pots that I've got. Crab pots, lobster pots, they're uh, nice little fold up ones for the kayak. Uh, I got them on eBay. Um, they came down and they were pretty good. Just needed to make a couple of modifications, such as the uh, adding a little bit of weight to, which I'll show you afterwards. But yeah, I thought this morning I'd come out and uh, test them out and see how they got on. So uh, I made my way to one of Jersey's sheltered bays this morning, and uh, I'm just going to intend to put down two two little pots, and then uh, later on afterwards just have a little flick around with um, either some sabikis or some feathers. So uh, yeah, just a little mess around this morning and uh, experimenting with this uh, new set of pots I've got. I'll get to the uh, area I'm going to put them down and then uh, I'll give you a better look at them and uh, you can see how I'm going to go about it. A little bit bumpy today, a little bit of swell. Not too bad though. So we're in 30 foot of water. I'm going to aim to put this uh, first one in and around here. There is a little bit of swell, but I'm hoping it should be all right. I've weighed the, uh, the pots down. So I'll get the pot ready and uh, I'll give you a quick look at that as well. So I've actually, because I forgot this mount here, is actually uh, my saving grace today. So what I'm doing is I'm just using that to pin down the uh, little pots that I've got at the front and uh, they're easily accessible. I mean, I can grab that fairly easy. Um, and then the one I'm not using, I'll just pin that down with that. Right, so the first one then. So here it is, here's the, uh, the um, crab pot, lobster pot, whatever you want to call it. It's a nice fold up one. So just a few latches on that. He says a few latches, can you get open? There we go few latches and then it opens up like that you can access the top it's got a drawstring there which is pretty handy and then inside there's a place for me to put my bait in that and there drawstring that as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use um, my dive reels some little dive reels that I purchased on eBay um, got them in the auction fairly cheap I think about five ten pounds so they're handy to drop down little bits that you want to drop down like your anchor or pots and stuff like that it's funny though these pots they're made with uh, a connecting swivel sort of thing I'd use tote fishing or something like that just there which uh, I might have to modify at some point I'll see how we get on on this one um, if we don't get the pot back I presume that's why but no it seems pretty strong I mean it's gonna have some force in it um, but I think I'd much rather two loops and a carabiner there, I think. So, uh, yeah, there's the float to the dive reel, which can let out some line. And then onto the pot. And the pot then, I've just put some chain around the base and just cable tied it in position. Um, if you've watched my videos before, you know I like a cable tie or two. Um, I just find it an easy and uh, handy way of doing it. Just a cable tie there and some chain, that should keep it. Uh, bottom down and on the bottom so uh, fingers crossed let's see how it goes um, let's get some bait in be useless chucking it down with no bait get some bait in and uh, plop it over so the bait on offer today then guys is uh, some smellyish mackerel so I am just gonna chuck that in might even be easier going through the door Just gonna slide them in like that. Hopefully you can see. Basically all I'm doing is just putting them in this uh, little pouch. It's got two drawstrings inside it. So I don't know if you can see that the mackerel's in there, it's secured. So floating tub, little bit of rope, carabinered onto the dive reel. The dive reel then, which I think has got 45 meters um, worth of line on there down to a carabiner which is then clipped onto the uh, swivel on the pot um, yeah 
size of the pot. It's not too heavy. It should be uh, all right to bring back up onto the kayak without losing too much balance. It's uh, weighted by my chain as well, so it should stay on the bottom, fingers crossed. Um, yeah, <laughs> I have no idea how this is gonna go. So uh, yeah, just gonna flick it out and see what happens um, when I collect it tomorrow morning. So that's on the bottom now guys. I'm just gonna give it a little bit, a little bit more. And that'll do it. Locked off. That should do nicely. <laughs> Don't know how it's gonna go, but still got one more to put out. So I'm gonna do exactly the same a little bit further around the corner and uh, hopefully find something. Be nice to get something on the uh, first time trying them out. So I need to get the uh, other tub out. Ready? Shimmy across, get the other pot. Um, literally just the catch there, flip that up. A catch there, flip that up. And a catch on that bit. Nice smelly frozen dirty Mac. Just need to do the drawstring on it. Again, weighted at the bottom with some chain. And then just clipping the carabiner onto the swivel. Letting out quite a bit of line there. Quite a bit of slack. There we go. Sorted. Let's go find some fish. What I'm using today, just my uh, rod that I was using for gilt head bream and stuff like that. And all I've done is just put a swivel on the end of the leader. So I'm just going to connect that to a set of feathers um, and crack on. Um, do I go sabikis? I could try sabikis. It could be some sand deal around. Considering I've got them already wrapped up, ready to go, they're not in a packet. Yeah, sometimes it's handy after a session using a set of feathers to get some of these uh, little rig winders and just wind them back on. And then just put the sabiki swivel onto that clip swivel. And there we go. Usually just by doing this, sometimes you'll notice on the uh, finder, you come over a big patch, like mid water. And to, I mean, today there's not much weed around. So I'd be saying straight away it's bait. And then if you've got a few uh, like banana shapes on the fish finder next to the big bull, then it could be bass or pollock or a load of mackerel maybe. But I have to be honest this year, since I've been going out um, especially on the offshore sessions compared to the first year that I was doing it on the finder it's so quiet
guys, there you go. First mackerel. <laughs> Chucking out the sabikis then. So uh, I'm gonna do a few more drifts of the uh, sabikis around here. I was gonna law fish it, but um, decided against that and went for some sabikis instead, so. That's good, at least I got one now, so. Uh, Try for a few more out here and see uh, if I can get lucky. Right guys, that's me back in now. Um, both the pots are out there still, so I'm uh, going to go and collect them in the morning and hopefully there's uh, a lobster inside. guys um, out the next day it's a lot flatter today a lot less wind and uh, I've come to check the pot and do a little bit of mackerel bashing and perhaps a little bit on the laws but um, I'm kind of paddling out right now and uh, what's running through my head is uh, did I leave a lot um, slack line on the uh, first pot that I put down I'm not too sure. I hope it's still there. So my intentions for this video then, um, this second part of the video anyway, uh, just going to go and lift the pots up and then as soon as I've done that, um, head out offshore or perhaps inshore if I can find a little bit of tide and uh, see if I can find some bait fish and uh, drop my sabikis down again and hopefully get a couple of mackerel if they're uh, on the bait fish this morning. So yeah, that would be good. Yeah, it looks like it's still there, the first one anyway. Can't see the second one just yet. But this is gonna be interesting. Just need to see if I can actually get the get the bloody thing up. Don't see why not. It doesn't seem as heavy as uh, as my anchor that I usually use, but there's gonna be a lot of drag on it when I'm bringing it up. Right, I'm gonna start bringing it up now. Oh, it's heavy, but it's doable. Ish. Is it stuck? I don't think it's stuck. Got it. Whew. It's a bit worried then. I think it might have been wedged between a rock or something. Now I've got it mid water. Just gonna put my foot on the line and just reel up this slack stuff. Boy up. There he is. Oh, nothing. Oh no. Yes. Get in there. Yes. Baby lobster. Woohoo. Mission accomplished. Oh, brilliant. He's only small, mind. Oh, well chuffed with that. Yes. Nice little lobby. I had a feeling this one would do quite well. Hey, hey. Well, he's definitely too small. So he's going straight back, but you know what? It works. Definitely too small though. See you when you're a bit bigger, mate. Oh, I'm absolutely stoked at that. 
So, got to collapse this now. Right. Unclip that. Got the float and the dive reel clipped to the side there. And I'm just going to chuck this up front. Going to get the uh, float back in the back now um, and the dive reel as well. Get that stowed away and then go and pick up the next one. So, hopefully, you can see that on the back there um, where I've got my Bixby motor um, clipped onto the top there. I've got these little mounts. So, what I'm going to do is just clip it onto that one there and then just throw. I could leave it trailing, but the whole shooting match over like that and that should be all right then and then what i do is maybe get the other one in there or even in the uh even in the container but yeah should be able to fit another one there and still be able to uh lift up if i get any mackerel and stuff like that got high hopes for this second one now to be fair as long as i get it back i don't mind so coming up to the uh, second one now. I'm gonna go for the uh, same uh, routine as the other one. I'm just hoping I can get this one up and it's not stuck. There we go. Right, time for number two. got the uh, second one up and the good news is <laughs> the mackerel's still there it's definitely been chomped on look at that nothing inside There's something. Bloody daydreaming just then. Not sure what this is. Not fighting very much. Oh, sand eel. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Nice little sand hill there. Oh, 
tiny little bite again. Tiny little bite. That's the good thing about using these uh, sabikis, is you've got a chance of a mackerel or a sand eel. something. Oh, another small eel. I think there's quite a few of these down there. The small little eels. He's not even hooked, he's just tangled up. I think that's what's been giving me uh, majority of those bites. Small little eel. Sand eel. Well guys, that's me paddling back in now. Whew, knackered after that. Not pleasant wind and tide against you. But it was nice to get out and uh, try them pots out. Two pots, one lobster. Sadly not big enough, but... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you enjoyed the video, then give the video a like. And the channel a subscribe, that would be much appreciated. Hopefully I'll see you out on the water soon with the next video. Until then, catch you next time. <laughs>